to bring healing to me. Bring healing to me. Healing to broken me. To pass through and to experience it. To come and agree with me and my emotion. To say, don't get spirits and unclean spirits. We are in the mindset. Spread them in line to
I want you to Jesus. I'm here in Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 that says stand in the liberty where Christ has made us to become free domain free. Stand in the liberty where Christ has made us free and don't be entangled in the yoke of bondage. Hallelujah to Jesus. So many times we stand for the physical things but we don't stand for the spiritual things. And that's when it caused problem in our journey with Jesus Christ. Amen? So I'm hearing it to tell you today to stand for the spiritual things, which is your boundaries. Because too often times the enemy allows us to water down the stand, spiritual stand. Amen? Amen? And so many things will come in and begin to distract us and turn us away from standing for the, the, the disciplines and the principles of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. So we have to stand that when the enemy comes upon us like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard. If you don't have a stand when the enemy shows up at your door, there's nothing to lift up against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah church. Hallelujah. So when we say stand, that means you're going to be firm. Hallelujah. You can't stand with emotional feeling and mental feeling because those feelings are going to allow your spiritual stand to become very weak. Praise the name of the Lord. And if you search out the body of Christ today, the spiritual stand that we're supposed to be standing become watered down and become weak. And God is saying, I need my people to stand in the liberty, stand in freedom. Don't go back into sin. Don't go back and take on the things that cause you to be so spiritually weak, mentally, emotionally. But he's saying, I give you power. Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions. Praise the name of the Lord. And when we have some things in our member going over and over, reasoning in ourselves, it can also cause us to become spiritually weak. We need to reason with God. We need to give God the weaknesses and don't try to carry it and work it on your own because what the devil going to do is going to use it all the time to weaken your spiritual you in the church Amen. so God is saying Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 we have to stand you cannot break down the barriers you cannot allow the feeling that you got oftentimes to weaken you because if you do that, then you're going to become spiritually weak. And when the Holy Ghost ready to use you, you're not strong enough to manifest His power effectively. And it doesn't make sense to manifest the Holy Spirit power halfway. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. So we have to ensure that we have in our spiritual boundaries and we take stand. We have to have a mindset to stand firm. And what the enemy use on us when we decide to stand they said words, curse words like you behave as if you are too holy than thou. Hallelujah. They speak all things against us when we decide to stand and don't succumb to the things that are causing us to become weak. Praise the name of the Lord. So you behave as if you're holy than thou. You behave as if you don't make mistakes. It's not about that. I have a spiritual stand and I will not open the gate for the devil to come and weep me because God called me in this season to manifest the, uh, the resurrection power that souls can be healed. Come on, we must be ready at all time. When God called upon us, we are ready, praise the name of the Lord. Don't be ready when you feel like, hallelujah. God is saying, stand and don't want to stand. Put on the whole armor of Jesus Christ, praise the name of the Lord. That when he ready to use you, uh, when he ready to use your mouth, your hand, your feet as instrument, you are ready. We don't want God have to be searching for you, hallelujah. When you're called to be a watchman or a watchwoman, you're called to evangelize, you're called to pray people. A case is before you can't touch it because many times we get distracted by lowering down our standard, hallelujah, because of naiveness and uh, emotional feelings. It's like you're scolding a child and your emotion comes in, you don't want to scold a child. 
When at the end of the day, what you should school him for going to become a monster and work against you. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 So God said, tomorrow I schooled you when you can do it today. Yes. The scripture said, don't spear the rod and spoil the child. That's how Jesus worked. He will not spear the chastisement and spoil you. So God will not turn away when today I'm going to rebuke you. I'm going to rebuke you on the day that you need to be rebuked. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So God is saying, let us stand firm. We crumble too easy. We swear too easy. We go in our subconscious mind too quickly. And when we got back to our present conscious self, we are in a wrong mindset because what we go and think about change our mindsets. It stir up something and we have to have some mental boundaries. And even when we think and remember we testify of it, we don't allow it to wound us all over and begin to cry. Some persons think and begin to cry in a church. You think about your past and you begin to cry because you're still mentally wounded. Amen? Amen. So God is saying to somebody today, stand. Don't say, okay, I'm standing. No, it's more than that. There's often times God is talking to us and we take ourselves out of it and say, well, I'm standing already. But when the storms of life come raging over me, are you? You don't stand. We don't want to sing religiously. We don't want to without action. We don't want to talk pretty words. And when the day of the real test comes, you fail. Say, God, help me to stand. Don't fall up in God's face and say, but me are standing ready. Humble as a child and say, God, help me to stand. Because when you think it, you're standing the scripture says, when you think that you're something, you're nothing. And when you think you're sweet, you're stink. So sometimes we think we're sweet and we're nice. But sin, the stench of sin is coming out. Still. So we have to stand in the presence of God. That he can continue to work upon the desire for heart in him. Hallelujah to Jesus. Into the yoke of bondage. Don't look back. Don't mingle. Touch not, taste not, handle not. Love what God is giving you now. Don't be jealous and want to go back. Don't see somebody prospering and compromise, uh, compare and go back. Because when you see some persons prospering, you don't know what they have gone through. I know it's a season for them to smile. Once upon a time, this person not even smiling because testing after another, valley after another. Uh, so many things cause them to be sad. And they are allowed to be poor in the presence of the Lord and get strong mentally, emotionally, and begin to smile over the situation. Hallelujah. Uh, blessing is not just hosting and care. Blessing is conquering the devil on the inside. Spiritual blessings. Physical blessings, husband and cars. Hallelujah. And money and material things. But the spiritual blessing, you have life. You have good health. Hallelujah. You have salvation. Praise the name of the Lord. You can help yourself and eat from your own plate and nobody assists you to eat. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So God is saying, when you see somebody, different way we have to take stand. Because the enemy challenges us when persons get in blessing, when persons ministry give birth, hallelujah to Jesus. When persons get married, in different areas, the, the Leviathan challenges us for us not to stand. We become competitive and it causes us to be distracted. And then we, we will lower down with standard and we become weak spiritual. But the scripture said, rejoice with one when they rejoice. Mourn with someone when they mourn. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So if you whatever state you're in, I will support.
put you, I will not jealous after you and compete with you. I'm going to help you to go higher because one day my name gonna call. You know, so no partial God. See, I'm gonna bless you, God bless me, but I have to go through some stuff to get there to testify and that hey, the God that works for you works for me today. You know that because. I got a victory. Hallelujah to Jesus. So the enemy will challenge our standing. And if you don't be careful, he manipulates you and tell you that you're stand when you're really not standing. You compromise with standing. Jesus is saying to you today, to us today, it's time for us to stand effectively spiritually. A water down the table. Two words. You have zealous and you have jealous. And when we zealous after a person, that means we 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 happy for you and we support you. And I and I like how you carry God. And one day I would like to carry God like you, but at the same time, I'm not jealous that you're you know. But when you are jealous, you're jealous with carnality. So you become competitive and sad when somebody bless. So you decide to tear them down and gossip in, praise the name of the Lord, and find fault religiously and say, mm, 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 an attitude toward the person because you're jealous. But I am zealous to me. Ready to support somebody with the good calling of Jesus Christ. Not to tear you down and mock you, but to push you to go higher and further and to take a righteous stand. I encourage the body of Christ today. As a leader and overseer, I encourage the body of Christ today. It's not everything we do and get it right. Firstly, we make mistakes, but we have to learn from our mistakes. Don't allow naiveness. To tell you that you can make mistakes again and again and again. You make two and three, come on, learn from it. But when you stand up for one dozen mistakes, you're naive part. So much mistake, one thing over and over. We become naive towards what is bringing us down. Hallelujah. As long as I'm alive and well. You will hear me preach and talk about living for God. Standing against sin. Preach against sin. Sin is our enemy. Sin is a virus. Sin is a sickness. It is leprosy. And if we stay in it, it kills you. Don't eat you down so slowly. And you die and go to hell and believe that you are saved. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Here in the church. So yes, we are great men of God and great women of God. But some part of our life, we have to take some drastic stand because your integrity has to stand out. Amen? Amen. So you don't hide, you come forward and stand. Your conversation must be clear and stand. You don't speak indirectly. You speak directly. Because you have to stand. Persons have to know who you are, what you stand for. Jesus Christ stand. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen, church. Amen. So I'm saying to that the truth today, visitors and friends, see if and unsee if. You may in a situation you have to stand. When you decide to stand, the situation change. And they get very high. You think the dogs say? You think no, 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 no. Teeth can go over that for some reason. No dogs in it. It fence and the gate easy to pull. And the mango tree full of fruits. When the teeth come in, just easily just shake the gate and open. Slip in and close it back. You don't know that the teeth is in your dog. 
When you look not one man to eat, everyone God. Secure your fruits. You is a tree. The fruits is what you have to give to people, the souls of men. And the devil come to teeth it all the time. So when you put up your boundaries and tighten up your gates, then you have no access so easy. Come on, the devil has too much easy access, man. You're too easy. The devil has too much easy access. You know he's a weak fence. It's time for us to let the devil know that my fence comes strong now. My fence is not weak again. Stand up. It's time to stand up. Stand up to your children. Stand up to your wife, your husband. Stand up for your ministry integrity. Stand up for the body of Christ. Stand up for what is right. You will be prosecuted for righteousness. Say, but great is your reward in heaven. We don't look for reward from man. We look for the great reward from Jesus Christ. So Lord bless you today. I encourage you to stand. Young people, stand. Yes, they're going to say, hey, young, when you look old, you're going to church, and this is the path where you choose, but stand. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Stand and don't want to stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't let the enemy intimidate you for you to fit in. You see, fit in is a problem. When we like to fit in our company, our place, our somehow, the enemy uses anything for you to fit in. Because if you suffer with low self esteem, you suffer with rejection, you suffer with verbal abuse, you suffer with something. So you want to fit in to be, be among the numbers or to be recognized. Or, you understand me, church? In this ministry, we teach you to live and to climb and to live above your weaknesses. Yes, we worship, we jump up and we worship, but at the same time, you have to live. True. Because when your Holy Ghost comes down and begin to scan you, I'm going to reprimand you when you're not walking upright. Praise the name of the Lord. I encourage you, young people, don't try to fit in. Just say, God, I want to fit in the position that you have for me. The will plan for me, let me fit it properly. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we will stand against the wise of the devil by putting on the whole arm of Jesus Christ. Have a poor shield of faith and the sword of the spirit is the word of God. And we're going to stand, especially you know that the spirit, the devil uses a specific spirit against you. Just set up on some all night. You see, you see, you now watch for you tonight. You not get you again. Hey, hallelujah. You know the devil plan to set up against you? He watch the righteous and seek to see them. That as you wait, the devil have his plan down for your life. And you know that we are naively not watching him. The devil decide and seek how to bring you down. Bring us down. And because he know that we are not so quick to catch up on him, because we have wounds and we have doubts, we always fall into the enemy trap. And we will mash up every trap this season. And we are believing God to stand. So what thing do we have here, brother? Tell us that. I'm going to fight you. The devil come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But God come to give you life. That's the other Do you believe, church? Hallelujah. If God said life, why are we set for death? If God said blessing, why are we set for poverty? Your size, you go. 
The curse has reversed, my God, the curse has reversed. Jesus shed his blood upon the cross. Jesus died for me, and he gave me the key. Oh, the curse has reversed. We are not under the curse. The curse has reversed. My God, the curse has reversed. Jesus shed his blood upon the cross. Jesus died for me. And he set me free. Oh, the curse has reversed. Hallelujah. If you're here and you want to give your, your life to the Lord, you're free. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ. His coming is nearer than we think. We've been hearing it a long time ago, but he's yet nearer than we think. Last week or the week before, he said, Judgment is on the land. So many things is happening. Praise the name of the Lord. It's getting out of control and it is signs of the time. He said, when we see this sign, we look up for redemption to at night. Can I share a vision with you? Hallelujah. And then we're going to pray for our babies. Pastors will come and pray for babies. I got a vision that 